welcome back to my channel let's do a little get ready with me it's 6 45 in the morning let's get ready for work so we're gonna start off by making the bed yes my bed is playing we was under construction in my room right now don't judge don't judge okay then let's pick out that outfit because you know we got to be cute at all times we got to be cute darling no matter what and then we're going to slide right into that skincare routine. If you ever want to know any other products I'm using, they're going to be down in the description box. So just go ahead and get a little look-see and see all the goodies that I do be using. Because my products have improved over the years, if I do say so myself. But we're just going to wash our face. I do wash my face in a two-step. Um, I use one cleanser and then I use an actual acne cleanser after that. Because if you wear makeup daily, you're prone to acne. So I don't want any bumps on my face. So I make sure I'm washing really, really good scrubbing. I do use a face scrubber. I don't use an electric one because my arms work fine and I'm cheap. So we just going to scrub that and then wash. And then we're going to go right into that toner. This is my favorite toner. I've been using it for years and it just works for me. If you don't like the order of my skincare routine, mind your business. This is the way I do it. And this is the way that works for me. Okay. 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 You see all the serums, all the acids, all the, all the, all the bouginess, darling, all the bouginess that we use on our face. This is why my face is so clear. Oh, and don't forget your sunscreen, even though I dropped it, but don't forget your sunscreen It's mandatory and brush your teeth. Y'all look, look now we too old now. Okay. This is where the magic happens. It's my makeup table. I use it. So it's not Instagram ready. It's not Pinterest ready. I use it. Okay. And we're going to start off with a good drink of water and straight into these brows, darling. Now, y'all have seen me do my brows a million and one times. But I'm going to do it again for y'all because y'all need help. I need help. Practice makes perfect. We're going to do it again. So we're going to start off by shaping those brows. And then we're going to go into that concealer. Now, y'all, I've been gone for a little while. This I do know. But life, honey. Life has been hitting me like a suck of rocks. You feel me? I live in Little Rock, Arkansas, and we just recently experienced a tornado. I believe it was last month, um, but we are still in 100% recovery of it. My neighborhood looks very sad. There are many homes that have been destroyed, trees down, and I actually went nine days without power. Nine days, y'all. Nine days. But anywho... Uh, we ended up making it through. My house did not have any significant damage. I was able to stay in it. So we are very blessed and I'm very, very happy for that. But it was stressful to say the least. Okay. Um, thankfully I have a wonderful nine to five who was allowing me to charge all my devices and do everything I needed to do at the job site when I couldn't at home, obviously. They also gave us relief funds to help us, you know, with the food and everything else. So it was really, really nice, y'all. All right, right into concealer. A brow is nothing without concealer, darling. You got to clean it up. I want that brow crisp. I want it to look like I just left Ching Chong two hours ago with their fresh eyebrow arch, okay? This is how you make your eyebrows look good and arched and fresh, no matter how they actually look under the makeup. Now, of course, if you have a whole bunch of little stray hairs, we're going to see them. But makeup is about an illusion. That's all we're trying to make. We're trying to elude. That we got a freshly arched brow, right? Okay? We, we imagine it. Wait for it. Just, just trust the process, baby. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and conceal underneath the brow. Now you can use a shade, uh, two shades lighter, um, for the underneath of your brow for your arch, uh, your highlight of your brow, and then use a shade, um, that is your skin tone, the same shade as your skin tone. Um, from above the brow. I, however, use light for underneath my brow as well as above my brow. Now, I do blend out above my brow a lot more than underneath um, to make sure it blends seamlessly. But for me, it just works better if I do use lighter because it's just crisper to me, in my opinion, for my skin tone. It may not work for everybody's skin tone, but it works for me. Don't judge. Okay, so it works for me. So as you see, I did not want to speed up this video any. I wanted to show it in real time and show my actual get ready every morning process. I get up at 6.45 every morning and I am out the house by 7.45, sometimes 7.43. Uh, to make it to work by 8 a.m. As you can see, I lay really close to my job. But to make it out by 8 a.m., this is my every morning process. So it's like a walk in the park to me. But we're vlogging, we're sharing, we're exploring, y'all. So speaking of that, somebody send me a heart in the comment. Let me know y'all watching. How you feeling? How y'all? Everything good? Y'all straight? Good. Talk to me. Let me know. 
Now, this is an extra step that I do because I do have darker eyes and I'm trying to brighten them up. I do use some concealer on my eyelids. Um, this is if I'm not using shadow. Um, if I'm using shadow, I definitely use eyeshadow base. But since this is more of my natural everyday look, I normally just go ahead and throw some concealer and set it on my eyelids. Because as you see, look at that. Look at that. I just went from two hours of sleep to at least five. Okay, and I'll take it back. I'll take because I really got two. So I'll take whatever I can get. Um, and make sure you're just blending seamlessly. Uh, I have a scar on my eye right there, y'all. Don't judge. Uh, but we using the Maybelline True Fit Me today, y'all. Y'all know it's a classic. It is a classic. If you still sleeping on Maybelline Fit Me, something wrong with you. As y'all see, I got it reduced at Family Dollar. I don't care. I don't care. It was like $2. And I'm going to get every last bit of it out. Shake, 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 shake. Give it to me. Give it. See, there we go. Come on. Come on. Cup, drop, 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 drop. There we go. Now, this little heart shape tool I did get from Timu. Um, it's so you don't have to put concealer or foundation on the back of your hand because I am famous for it. You can also use like a mirror or a plate, whatever works for you. But this little tool works just fine for me. It's, it sticks on my finger, it's handy, and my hand stays clean. So it works for me. So we're just going to go ahead and place the foundation in my problem areas first and then blend out from there. Mine are my cheeks. So we are going to go ahead and place on the cheeks and then blend inwards. So I'm bending outwards from my ears to inwards to down and make sure you get that neck. I am so tired of y'all having ghost face. Okay, blend it down. If you can't blend it down and it's still the shades still aren't lining up, you have the wrong foundation shade. There is no reason for you to be walking around Casper by the face. To no reason. Go ahead and go to your local Sephora, Ulta, and they have no problem color matching you for free. Don't stress yourself. Don't do that to yourself. Just go ahead and get matched, babe. But as you see, I'm taking my time. Blend, 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 blend. Y'all know we had the blend conversation before. It's cardio. It's cardio. I'm working out because I'm blending. And then we're going to go in with that same concealer that we did uh, on our brows. And I'm just going to go ahead and make a very oddly shaped triangle circle teardrop shape. <laughs> um contouring your face you really just have to practice and see what works for you um this shape works for me um to brighten and shape my face I'm trying to get rid of some of that roundness that is the goal of contouring and highlighting so we are just going to do that to the best of our ability but go ahead and play around see if you need to do the triangle shape the the heart shape, whatever shape works for you. See if you just need a couple dots. See if you actually need a lighter concealer in your inner corner on top of the concealer you're using. Whatever it is, practice, y'all. It takes years. Nobody wakes up a perfect makeup artist. I'm not even there, but you know, we get in there, baby. Progress. Um, but as you see, <laughs> I'm just going around and framing my face. Now I use foundation as my contour just a couple shades darker I think I've told y'all this before because it blends more seamless to me and then I also set it I let it sit for around five minutes normally unless I'm running extremely late like I am today uh, but at least let it sit for a second and then I go ahead and blend out that highlight first um to make things a little bit easier here you just gonna go ahead and use two beauty blenders y'all know that smoke is incense my uh, but you can use two beauty blenders that way you are not mixing your different, um, your concealer and your contour that way it's more seamless and you can just blend it better because you can control the colors because they haven't mixed on the same, uh, beauty blender, but blending is extra important in this step because if you don't blend your highlight, you can look ashy or unfinished. Um, just like that, the corner of my eye can be blended a little bit more by my nose, but I am rushing y'all. I'm rushing and watching the clock as I go, but make sure you just take your time. Cause as you can see, I could even find, you know, the flaws in my makeup, but we're not perfect. We learning. We still going to be cute though. <laughs> we still going to be cute though. I can't see that much. <laughs> y'all know I have no sense. I'm trying to stay fo I'm focused. I'm focused y'all. I am focused. But go ahead and keep on blending, 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 blending. As you see, that side of my contour sat on my face just a little bit longer. So it's a little bit harder to play with. So I am taking my time. You see, I'm going back and forth on each side of my face to make sure that everything is symmetrical and everything is blended to my liking. So y'all will be seeing giving me this camera, this death stare. 
until I get everything blended the way I want. Now, I'm not sure. I think I was going without a scarf today, which is why I am making sure I am blending all the way up to my hairline and blending out because I don't want any stray marks, dark marks, anything like that. So I am just making sure to blend to my hairline. And then we're going to take that uh, highlight beauty blender and blend that up as well. And y'all see how we just created a very pretty gradient right there. Y'all see that? We shrunk that forehead to from a five head to at least maybe three and a half. Three and a half head. We'll take it. We'll take it. All right. Now you see I'm still blending, 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 blending. And now it's time for our powders. Now, again, I use this little beauty blender, I guess it's called, in the shape of a triangle. And y'all see how easy it is for me just to go in that inner corner. This tool saves me so much time. I used to think it was so unnecessary purchase, but once I finally did get one, it's very useful, um, especially for under the eyes. You just go ahead and take it in that little triangle in piece right there. It just makes my life so much easier when I am putting on my setting powder. Now I do set under my eyes first because I want that to be the foundation and then I go ahead and use my powder. Now this is just my face powder to set in the foundation that I don't have a highlighter or contour on because if you remember, uh, you gotta set everything, babies. Everything, everything you put on your face, you should set with a form of powder. Uh, for some reason, I didn't get on camera me actually doing my contour, but I just went on in that same area that I did the foundation, guys, and go, went on ahead and put the powder on top. Um, today, I felt bougie, so I went on ahead and grabbed some blush, and I actually used orange. I could have blended it a lot better on that left side, uh, but as you see, I noticed it, but I'm just like, you know, whatevs, <laughs> and we can go ahead and set it on top of that, y'all, and just take it in. You see that? You see that beauty? To mm. It was a whole diva moment right there, yo. Now, I get asked this all the time. What eyeshadow, eyeshadow, Jesus. What eyelash glue do you use? I only use Duo Clear. That is the only thing that works for me. If something else works for you, use it. But this is what works for me because it dries absolutely clear and those lashes are stuck all day. Because there are days I don't take my makeup off from 6.45 a.m., to about 10 o'clock at night. So I need everything set and everything stuck. I don't need the edges of my eyelashes coming off or anything. And this eye, uh, why do I keep wanting to say eyeshadow? I just really want to do some eyeshadow today, y'all. But this eyelash glue works just fine for me. Now my trick is I do some on the band of the lash as well as I do a little line on my eyelid as well. Now you just want to do a line just as small as if you were doing eyeliner. Um, you don't want to make it too big because it, it, it just it just won't dry right why do you need a big old space of glue you know from there i also wash my hands with a makeup wipe because even though i use that special tool i promise you it's still makeup on my hands somewhere and especially having a french tip with white nails i don't want to uh, have makeup all over my hands it's just it's not cute um but while that eyelash glue is drying after we put it on our lid i go ahead and put on some mascara that way my lashes are drying up with the mascara because my lashes actually grow down as you can see on the left side of my face because i am a little japanese in my blood baby so my eyelashes grow down so that helps me kind of just send them, blend them seamlessly with my eyelash strip i also wait about five minutes for everything to be tacky before i actually go in to put the eyelashes on. Now there is nothing I can teach y'all about this part. This is just trial and error. You're gonna glue your eyes shut. You're gonna put it in your eye. You're gonna poke your eye. There's nothing you can do but practice with putting on lashes. Now my favorite part, highlighter. Cause we shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> but I go ahead, the, the key to the highlighter is you're gonna put it right in between that blush and your contour. Uh, that's normally where, um, your highlight should be because that is the height of your cheekbones. Um, I also take my finger. Y'all know my nose trick. I don't do nothing special. This highlighter wasn't given what it was supposed to give on my nose. So, pow, pow. Okay. You see me? I'm like, okay. This is a NYX highlighter and it's more of a putty highlighter. Um, so it doesn't work as well as the powder, but it still did the job. On to the hair. So this poof is blonde today, y'all. Y'all know my poofs will change colors, honey. It will be orange one day, blue one day, green one day, because I can't commit to a hairstyle save my life. But we're going to go ahead and pick it. Y'all, y'all see my pig? My mama got me my pig. Power to the people. Okay. Got a little afro. Black lives matter. It matters. Black lives matter. Just thought I'd give you a moment of silence for that in case you didn't know. 
Uh, but go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and pick my hair up and go ahead and judge my hair up and get ready to walk out the door, y'all. I am so happy to be back. I missed y'all. I missed y'all so much and I just been dealing with so much, but I couldn't wait to come back to my baddies. Um, I lost my family pet along the way. She didn't die anything related to the tornado or anything. She just died of old age. She actually died on her 17th birthday. Um, I got her when I was nine. So she lived a nice long life and she left me a puppy behind. So I can't be too mad. Um, but she did pass in my arms. So I did have to grieve with family about that on top of the tornado, on top of the city grieving on top of <sighs> life. I just want to be a kid again. That's it. I, Lord, I regret any time I said I want to be grown. I don't mean it. I don't mean it. Y'all see that thick of hair sticking out at the side of my head. That is so disrespectful. So, and then there's some hair I want to be in my face on top of that. But like, I almost said, forget about it. And I almost laid down. <laughs> because I'm already ready a little bit behind, but I'm still going to slick the edges back. Cause I'd rather have some fall out here falling out than nappy edges. So I'm going to slick back, slick back, slick back, slick back, baby. That little blush on my cheek is bothering me. Y'all. I just want to jump in the screen and be like, bling girl, bling. Y'all see why I be telling y'all to bling? Y'all see why? This is a perfect example, but it's still cute though. I still, I, I'm decent. I'm, I give it a good 8.5. <laughs> Let me stop. Uh, but I really was messing with the edges today, y'all. I really wanted perfection, but don't see that fallout on the side of my head. <laughs> this is why you should not be trusted to get ready early as hell in the morning. It's just not right. I'm not up yet. I'm still sleeping. I'm thinking about dinner tonight. Okay, I'm not here. <laughs> but slick 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 we gonna slick and we gonna stretch we gonna slick we gonna stretch because i want my hair to just i don't know i wanted a high pony today i want to feel all creasy <laughs> so i did a high pony and then now for my favorite part my favorite lip combo now for this pencil this definitely is a eyeliner pencil from wet and wild i use it on my eyebrows sometimes when i don't want to use promade and then I also use it for a lip liner because you can use makeup for other things in this intended purpose. It's okay. I won't tell anybody. Just use it for what works for you. Um, I could never find the brown that I was looking for, really, truly. And it never just would glide on the way I want it to. One day I was testing things out and I tested this pencil out and I've been stuck in using it ever since. Because I am obsessed, baby, with that 90s lip combo that that dark lip liner and then that like that little pink and like some gloss or not even some gloss just that dark lip line and then like some lighter pink or nude oh baby it's gonna hit every time so see i'm taking my time becoming even more late to work to make sure my lips look good and i miss up a little bit there but we just go we just go conceal it out just a little bit you can still say it but we, just, we roll it we roll it baby we're late we are late. We are still rolling. And I still need to change clothes. Lord, fix it. <laughs> fix it, Jesus. Fix it. And so we go go in and then I'm going to keep going around my lips and make sure I am filling out the space. Um, because I don't want to leave too much of a line of an openness in between that lip liner and the lipstick I'm actually going to be using. I want an ombre effect, as I always say. And I want it to blend seamlessly. Now we're going to take that L'Oreal Matte Lip Cream. And we're just going to go ahead and put it on my lips. And um, we're going to blend, baby. We're going to blend. I actually think I did three lips today. Yeah, I did that nude. And then I'm going to go in with an even lighter pink on the inner lips. To give me really that real pout look. My lips are already big. I don't really need help with any pouting. But I just really love this combo. Uh, yes, that's a sample. No shame. It works just as fine as the full size. Just as fine. I'm one thing about it, two things for sure. I'm going to give me a free sample. Now, you could be shame. You could do, you know, whatever. Free samples run the world. It saves you so much money, child. So much money. Now, before I head out the door, of course, I got to put on my signature scent. I am known by my scent, if you know me. And I don't leave the house without it. I am also a avid gum chewer so i will be the one popping gum in your ear gonna grab our airpods grab our keys and we are out the door i did make it to work at 805 so i'm not too shabby but make sure you like subscribe and i'll see you next time love you daddies